Hi, this is Graham Bray from Smart CPD Solutions and welcome. The title of this video clip is Importing Music to iPods and the need arose because of my own basic forgetfulness. On the occasions when I want to upload music from a CD to my iPod, I open up iTunes for some unknown reason, probably age related, I have to be reminded as to how I go about the process. So this time I thought that I'd record the process in future I don't have to bother anybody else. Here we are on iTunes and what you can see here are the various albums present in my music library. You've got to admit, a bit of a mixture. The first thing we need to do is to copy the contents of the required CD into this music library. I've just inserted the CD into the drive on the computer and iTunes automatically opens the CD and we can see here the contents. This pop-up appears inviting us to import the CD into the library. I always accept this but if you prefer, you can tick the Do Not Ask Me Again box, then continue the process from the Import CD button at the bottom right here. But in this video, I'm going to stick with the Accept the Pop-Up Invitation. So I'm going to click it here, and it will start importing. And you look to the left of the tracks, you can see as importing starts, close this thing, you can see that as it starts there, that this symbol appears and it's synchronizing. The top here also shows you what's being imported. I'm going to pause the video at this stage because uh, it takes quite a while and I'll come back to you when it's all been put in. Okay, so here you can see that tracks from CD have been imported successfully into iTunes. If we click on music up here, we can see that the album we just imported is here, Songs of Sanctuary, is now imported into here. Now, using these buttons at the top here, we can choose with a look at list of all tracks, as we have here, there's our new album. We can view each individual album here, there's the albums, or using this one here, we can look to see what's present in a particular album. I prefer to use this here, the summary of what tracks we've got. The last stage is to transfer the music to our iPod. What we have to do is to synchronize iTunes with the music already present on the iPod, and this is achieved by double clicking on the iPod icon. So over here, the iPod icon, and that opens up this selection of tabs here. We want the music one here. Now make sure required boxes are ticked, sync music, include music videos and artwork, and also make sure the button is pressing as we have here. And all we now do is click on sync at the bottom right of the page. Now this rotating icon here shows us the synchronization is taking place and in the toolbar at the top here we can see the progress as to what's being uploaded onto the iPod. And there we have it. Once complete we can open up the iPod music list here and if we scroll up we should better find or down Let's see if we can find where this, this track's got to go. There's Addy Amos there, Songs of Sanctuary. So we can check this all there and everything's worked properly. So job done. This is Graham Bray for Smart CPD Solutions. I hope you found this video useful and informative and thank you for watching.